millions of years ago, on this very planet where we are right now, lived a woman. Let's call her Anna. On a very specific day of the month, Anna met a very specific, attractive and fertile man. Let's say his name was Joe. Anna and Joe did, you know what, and behold the wonder, a race is on. In this relay race, a genetic baton is passed from one generation to the other. On that day, Anna and Joe passed their DNA baton to their conceived child, to pass it to his children someday, and so on. And all of these children of children of children have lived and loved and pushed through a race that miraculously continues up to this day, right up to us. If at some point this chain was broken, if two people didn't get to grow up to adulthood and meet at, at just the right time, they would have dropped the button along the way. And you wouldn't be here right now, listening to me talking about your ancestors having sex. <laughs> and there's, there's a good reason for bringing this up. I am a wildlife photographer. That means I'm fortunate enough to explore wild nature for a living. I travel to the most exciting places on Earth, from Africa to the Far East, from the North Pole right down to Antarctica. And when you spend this much time out there, you become aware that in the animal kingdom, this relay race is pretty much the same. When we look at this lion, whom I met in the savannah of Tanzania, we're also looking at millions of lions and lionesses that preceded him. They all survived to adulthood, hunted, competed for natural resources, faced many dangers and uncertainties in order to mate and keep passing their DNA baton to that guy and his adorable cubs. In all of these unbelievably beautiful places, I meet extraordinary animals, all striving to survive, procreate, and keep the race going. In all over the world, I see amazing creatures, and this relay race looks pretty much the same. A boy meets a girl, a courtship dance begins. If it's a good one, and all conditions align, they will mate. And you know what happens next. These guys grow up, and the race continues. Yet, I am heartbroken to see that it's getting harder and harder for them to do just that. Tragically, we humans are often the cause. Pollution, relentless hunting, our contribution to global warming, it all ends up in the loss of food, habitat, and eventually, life. Our influence on nature is ruining animals' chances to fairly pass their baton. And when the baton is dropped too many times, a species loses its race, becoming extinct. This is happening on our watch. Polar bears might face a similar fate to the white rhinos, as scientists predict that most of them will be gone in 30 years. The red panda, blue whale, Asian elephant, snow leopard, and many more magnificent creatures are all critically endangered, facing an extremely high risk of extinction right now as we speak. It makes me think about my own relay race. This is Erez, my fourth-born son. He and his brothers just love listening to bedtime stories about legendary creatures that used to roam our planet, like the woolly mammoth and T-Rex. Will they tell their children the same stories, but with elephants and rhinos as the main characters? Will my future grandchildren think of them as merely legends from the past, as dinosaurs are for us? The relay race of life is tough. These animals have survived droughts, ice ages, volcanic eruptions, meteorite impacts, 
and endless threats just to reach the present time. Let's not make it harder or ultimately impossible for them to keep their race going. We can start here, right now. You don't even have to get out of your seats. Taking the first step towards change. Changing the way we think. Let's consider this new perspective, that we are all participants in one great relay race that has been going on for so long and must, must continue. And it will, if we make a decision to support this necessary change. We all know how to reduce our ecological footprint. And now that we have seen the impact our choices can make, we must take steps to keep the race going. Share this message. Tell everyone you know. We are all in this race together, and together we can win it. The baton is in our hands, so let's keep it running. Thank you.